Here's my 91 RT four wheel drive, rosy red. Today I'm putting in a double din radio. You're not supposed to be able to fit a double din radio into these cars, and technically you cannot. But there's a double din radio. And rosy red is now in the new century. So we've got that, and that's all fine and dandy. It sits halfway decent. But what I want to show off is going to be more a matter of the, because that fitment in there is rather cut and dry. You modify the brackets and stick them to the radio and stick it in the hole. You get the wiring adapter, you wire it, and you're golden. And if it were as simple as leaving it open like that, then that would be the end of it. When I got this, before I got this vehicle, it uh, used to have that JDM center console where it was lower. And so this I got off of eBay, and this should essentially go right over. The HVAC controls would be in the top, the radio would be in the bottom, and underneath that is actually on the floor the uh, ashtray. And so it should kind of sit something like this inside the vehicle with the HVAC controls here, the radio here, ashtray lighter and down below so what i'm going to do is do the old chopped and screwed this is actually going to be the bottom half and i'm going to cut him maybe about here on both sides to give you an idea what i'm after this is the top portion that came with the car and this is how i've hacked it to where essentially this is going to be the top half of the radio surround and the HVAC surround stays just like it was okay so I'll pop it in the car just to show you the top half and we'll go to that view next so now that I've got a little light on the subject and I put the top half of that gray back in see how that kinda makes the top half of the surround for the uh, adapter that I would need to make so that's the top half of the adapter and if i move this light you see i've kind of redirected a couple of those uh wires that come through the side that are going to be hidden by that plastic and so that's the top half so what i'm going to do then is cut the red one at the bottom to where it's going to meet this and fill the gap across the bottom just like how this sits real nice at the top and with any luck it'll sit real nice and I might even have that uh, bottom piece or I might get creative and try and make a cup holder in there we'll see okay so this is what I think is going to be the answer for the radio for right now before we glass anything let's put it in the car okay so it looks half ass decent anyway let me close this glove box For what it's worth, I think it looks pretty good. I'll have to make, you know, little flanges or something to fill the hole at the face of the radio. But for right now, that's looking awesome. That's taking shape, anyway. Yeah. Badassery. Badassery. Yes, indeedly. Yep, just a preview.